as you know on this channel, I'm all about the Linux console, the TTY, and the frame buffer. And if you've seen my previous videos on the frame buffer, it's mainly been playing video. Playing video in the frame buffer in the Linux console, the TTY. Um, and I think it's time now we look at displaying images in the Teletype terminal, in the Linux console, in the frame buffer. So that's what we're going to do today. Pretty simple to do. Um, however, there is two good ways to do it, I would say. And it is going to be covering again tools we've used before. Firstly being FFmpeg that comes with FFplay, a nice little tool for playing video and images, etc. And the second one being MPV, the classic Linux video playing tool, let's say, but it will play images or display images as well. Fantastic. And importantly, in the frame buffer, there will be a couple of things we need to do. So, well, first of all, let's just go and have a look at the Arch Wiki. Okay. Just to remind people, if you haven't been watching my videos, why haven't you, of course, but if you haven't, you'll need FFmpeg. So do the usual things, you do your sudo pacman-syu to update and then install ffmpeg, okay, and that's if you're using ffplay and then obviously if you're using mpv do sudo pacman-s-mpv, okay, that's all you need, all you need, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the FF Play solution. Now, I will say first off, FF Play is great, but with the Linux um, console, it can be a bit iffy. That's all I'm going to say. Great, but a bit iffy. Possibly the most minimal and fastest solution, but whatever. Okay, so now. This is not going to work in my terminal on my virtual machine. So if I do FF play, I do MPV, as you can see, there is nothing. Okay, so I have to control C to come out of that. However, that's mainly because of my Linux virtual machine. Okay, it's a skill issue probably, something I just need to sort out. But I will prove to you, I will prove to you it does work in the frame buffer on the Linux console showing you my other laptop here okay now technically you might not be able to see this you might not be able to see it but I am in the Linux console okay and I've got this queued up that is on with FF play there you go that's displaying an image now to come out of that you need to hit control C Okay, it gives me a blank screen, but just start typing. You can type clear and enter. And you probably can't see it very well, but I'm back in the uh, Linux console. Okay. So that's the first. Oh, just put this back carefully. So that's the first way to do it. Okay. So the second way is the MPV player. Um, one thing we need to do though with MPV, so let's come out of this, is if you don't already, you'll need to set up an MPV.conf. Now in the past we did do some Vim-like key bindings, but that file is only for input. So let's go into cd.config and then MPV. And as you see, I've just got an input file. Okay, so let's do a, go into a Vim, use nano or whatever text editor you're using but I'm going to use vim I'm going to put mpv.conf okay right I will just need to consult my laptop and my other one okay right so this is what you need to put in so you need to put in double dash image display duration okay and the reason is, and I will show you in a second, so if you leave this without a uh, image display duration, basically if you have a blank, a blank, let's show you, I'm just gonna right quit this, okay, 
So as you can see, I've got um, this here. So I've got MPV shot, which I try to play an FF play on here. So if I do MPV, MPV shot, as you can see, well, actually, first of all, on my frame buffer again, this possibly won't affect you, but because I am on a virtual machine, I need to do this, dash VO equals DRM, and then let's do that. And you'll see it flashes up for a second and disappears. So with MPV, the default is basically a second or so, and the image disappears. Not necessarily what you want if you want to view an image, you want to control. Now, this is therefore what we need to do. So I'm gonna go back into .config, MPV, and I'm gonna vim into mpv.conf, and we're gonna go back in to put in the image display, duration, and I'm just gonna do equals 1,000. That's basically 1,000 seconds. I'm sure that's enough. Again, you can play around with this, do what you think is necessary for you, but I'm just gonna have it as a set as 1,000. So now, hopefully, if I do MPV, of course, for myself, I have to do VO equals DRM, and do this. The image just stays there. This very gorgeous looking person, as you can see on the screen, will now be displayed for a thousand seconds. Um, and if I hit Q, I just quit out of that. Bit nicer than maybe having to hit Control C on FF Play. Maybe there's other ways to do it. I know that you can do like SIG term stuff or some or send a signal via another console or something. But I, I think a nice simple solution like that. Do that again, as you can see, it's just staying there nicely. So MPV using um, that little config will just give you a nice image output. And uh, again, you you got you can get all your overlays and all this stuff in the frame buffer to give you information about it. Lovely, and Q to quit. Pretty simple. So. Um, I think that will leave it for there. Of course, if you're in uh, the, well, let's just show you quickly. If you are in the uh, X environment, you can, of course, do MPV, MPV shot as well. Fantastic. And again, you will need to do that config and FF play. Well, of course, ooh, FF play, MPV. We'll of course do the same, as you can see, uh, with, however, with um, the X environment, you will need to, you can't do it on here, you can't queue, oh, you can queue out, sorry, I was going to say, um, you might have to do FF play, MPV, do like control C in here, but, so you've got options there, FF play is, it handles a bit nicer in the X environment than it does in the frame buffer, I think, but it's just the way it is. MPV though, just fantastic. Mwah. So uh, if you are going to be using the frame buffer to look at images, now you have two solutions to do that. So, okay, now we will leave it there. So um, you know what to do with the fake YouTube, you can like, you can comment, you can subscribe, nearly up to a thousand subscribers now, which is fantastic. Thank you all very much. And, uh, I'll see you next time.